Evolution Power Tools were kind enough to send me this table saw to review. The table saw is a Rage 5S, it comes with a 10 inch blade, has a maximum cut of 80mm with a blade at 90 degrees and 58mm with a blade at 45 degrees. Ripping capacities of 305mm to the left of the blade and 650mm to the right of the blade. That's quite a big capacity for a portable table saw. The blade is 255mm in diameter, it's got a kerf of 2mm. It's an 1800 watt 2.5 horsepower motor and it weighs 32 kilograms. As with all Evolution Power Tools, as well as cutting wood, it will cut steel up to 6mm, aluminium up to 6mm, plastic and wood with nails. The table saw comes with a rip fence, it's got a very positive locking action and it is rock solid. It's got a graduated scale there with adjustable markers so that you can set the distance from the blade. This locking action is really very good, just slide the thing along, press it down and that clamps it solid. An adjustable mitre fence which goes from 0 to 60 degrees on both sides and it's also got a little hold down clamp which is quite useful. This is adjustable, it will slide either side so you can move it closer or further away from the blade and obviously that's got a graduated scale around the back there I'll just demonstrate the extending sides so on the left hand side is of the saw underneath there we've got a little nailed bolt and there's one in the same place on the other side just slacken those off the side pulls out tighten the nuts up and that's it locked in position and that gives you an extra five inches of table on the left hand side on the right hand side there's a lever there that you pull out now when you do this you've got to make sure that the fence is not clamping on this extendable bit otherwise it will prevent it from from moving out so move the fence out the way just pulls out and then just press the clamp down underneath and that's it locked in place so that's very impressive it's a massive surface area to be working with on a small table saw. to use a sliding carriage you've got to screw this down into that hole there's a pin there that you can pull down and if you watch if you pull it down and rotate it 90 degrees it pulls the pin out of the sliding carriage the sliding carriage is then available for cutting wood now that is a brilliant feature it really is now obviously if you drop the blade down you'll get a bigger cut cutting capacity here but I'll go for the minimum it's around about 370 millimeters sliding carriages are a really good thing for a table saw and you don't see many of these type of table saws with a sliding carriage I've just taken the blade guard off because I want to show you another really good feature about this saw it makes life really convenient for maintenance conveniently placed on the left hand side of the saw we've got two spanners so if you want to change the blade you just slot the spanner in there twist that 90 degrees which releases the insert that gives you access to the blade one of the spanners fits the blade that lets you perform the vast majority of the maintenance on this machine with these two spanners which is brilliant and the fact that they're attached to the machine means that if you take this away to a work site somewhere you've got the tools there as you would expect you use the hand wheel to raise and lower the blade if you want to tilt the blade you pull this lever out which is a locking lever and then you've got two options you can push the blade or you can push in the wheel and then you can tilt the blade and clamp it when you've got it in the right position and then you've got a scale from 0 to 45 degrees and a little marker there so you can set the angle accurately the push stick slots in there and that's very firmly fixed so that you're not going to lose that if you're carrying that around from site to site coming round to the back you can see that we've got the dust extraction hose coming off the blade guard at the top it joins into this pipe here and then your shop vac goes in there and then we've got a convenient little cord wrap which also helps when transporting the saw the on off button on the saw is a very important safety feature now you'll notice that that lid will not stay up it always flips down but you can start the saw but once you let go of the start button that lid flips down so that means if there's ever an emergency or you need to stop the saw quickly all you've got to do is whack that button and it will stop the machine And as you can see when you whack it, it physically locks the button. I've connected my shop back to the table saw and personally I think a shop back would be a good addition to Evolution's range. You probably can't see it but that to me is out very slightly so I need to adjust the fence so I need to slacken off these two nuts. So I'm going to, that's lined up there now, I'm going to tighten these up gently. Yeah, I'm happy with that, that's tight. So that is the fence adjusted. The next thing I'm going to do is adjust the mitre fence to 90 degrees. The fence, right, will slide. Either way, so I'm going to move that so that it's near the blade. 
very slightly out so I'll just slacken that off that looks about perfect and then tighten that up again so that's the sliding mitre fence square and the fence parallel to the blade and then the last check is to make sure that the blade is vertical to the table looks like it could do to be moved very slightly so and you should make sure there's no light coming between the square and the blade when it's flat on the table very simple to do so that's a saw set up for cutting now right so the first thing I'm going to cut is a 3x3 three three fence post I've extended the table and that little bit of extra support is really useful that's a lovely square cut pull the pin out and that's the sliding carriage ready to go so put the dust extractor on That was a good demonstration of how effective that stop button is. You don't even have to look for it, you just have to kind of reach down there and tap it and it turns off the so so that's very good. Another use for the sliding carriages is so it just allows you to safely cut longer pieces of wood and of course you can extend the sides of the table if you feel the need to, but I think that'll be fine. I think I need to raise the blade very slightly, we'll give that a go. Now I really do not like that blade guard and as soon as I finish this review the blade guard is going to come off. It's entirely up to you whether you want to leave this, the blade guard on or off. My own personal view is it's safer without the blade guard uh, but obviously the manufacturers are obliged to fit it with a blade guard so you need to make that decision for yourself and decide which is a lesser of two evils really. Wood with nails and I apologise I've only got tacks I don't have any nails but it'll still demonstrate what this saw can do. Straight through them like butter and I guarantee you it would do the same with much thicker nails as well. Aluminium. Mild steel box section. That's cool to the touch so you could work with that straight away. And the last unusual thing I'm going to cut with this is some uni strut for any electricians out there. Now you can cut this at 45 degrees if you want to make corners but I'm not going to set it up for that. I'm just going to go for a straight cut just to demonstrate it cutting the uni strut. It doesn't get any better than that and again that's cool to the touch and then last but by no means least a rip cut So that's it, my review of the Evolution Rage 5S 
table saw. Now I think this is a very competent piece of equipment. It is a really useful piece of kit. I love the fact that you can extend the tables to the side. Sliding carriage, absolutely brilliant. The fence is very secure. Don't like this, that's about the only thing I don't like on the machine. I think the stop switch is a really good safety feature. Love the fact that you can store the spanners on the side for changing the blade and the way that the insert comes out. And I also love the fact that you've got the push stick fixed on the machine at the left hand side. It is a very, very nice machine. It is capable of accurate work, perfect for tradesmen to take on a work site. Perfect for someone like me that's renovating the house because you can actually boule it into the bedroom. It is very, very portable. A table saw is a really valuable addition to anybody's workshop. It was one of the most important pieces of kit I bought years ago and I certainly would not be without one now. And if you're thinking of buying one, I don't think you'll go wrong with this one. Anyway, I hope you like the review and thank you for watching.